Okay, the weapons loadout already sucks. Iris's primal instinct slot. Okay, guys, so we're opening the emerald crate. Yo, what's up guys, Zuba King here, and in today's video, we have some lit stuff going on. We have a crap ton of stuff to get to, but first of all, let's do some quick announcements. So announcement one, today is my channel's birthday, so yeah, lit, happy birthday to my channel. December 15th was the day I first created my channel, however, I didn't start officially posting a lot until August 22nd of 2021, but that's not important. Now, on to the second announcement. Okay guys, for the second announcement, we have the Would You Rather of the Day. This is a new segment I'm going to be doing. And so basically, I'm going to ask you a question and you're going to answer, answer it in the comments. So, would you rather get sprayed with a hose on a freezing cold day or sit in a hot tub on a sizzling summer day? Personally, I'm choosing option two. What would you choose? Well, I don't know yet. So that's why you're answering it in the comments. Okay guys, so, now that the announcements are done, we do have something very important to do. In my last video, I believe, or the season ender video, I said I would upgrade Iris and get her Primal Instinct slot. And as you can see, I have enough money to do that. So, we're going to be doing that right now. Without further ado, we're doing this right now. And we're going to unlock Iris's Primal Instinct slot. Unlocking it now. Three, let's go. And we have Iris's Primal Instinct slot. And I am beyond hype. Now... The only logical thing to do here now is to buy an emerald crate, right? Well, we're not going to buy an emerald crate because I'm a terrible person and I'm actually going to make you sit through this entire video before you can see the emerald crate opening. That's right, but today's video is going to be interesting so you do not have to worry about being bored. Because in today's video, we're doing something we've never done before and that is a gameplay roast. As far as I'm concerned, no other channel has ever done something like this before. And you are about to see exactly what I mean. So, we're diving into a game of solo standard, and no, I'm not roasting my own gameplay, I'm roasting someone else's gameplay. No one I know, and as far as I'm concerned, no one you guys know. So this is actually really interesting, it's a new concept, I've wanted to do a video on this for such an amazingly long time. And so basically, I'm gonna go to the Legendary Guard, immediately die, and then I will spectate random people up until the point where I essentially roast their gameplay. Okay, so I am dead. Now, we're just going to click around randomly, and we land on this guy. So, Big Bad Fishy, we're going to roast the living heck out of his gameplay. So, obviously, that was dumb. He waited way too long to throw the spear. What was he doing? So, he's really disengaging from this fight when really he should be engaging, because the Henry is completely focused on that Nyx. If he would just ping the spear damage to that Henry, he would be gaining so much value against that Henry. Again, he's missing these spear shots, which unfortunately is crucial to playing Betsy. And unfortunately, I just don't agree with his playstyle. He's kind of playing very passively, allowing the Nyx to just regain health, deal Fang's damage. And now he's got a one-on-one -on -one with a Henry, which is never a good plan for a Betsy. Especially a Betsy without the Primal Instinct. Uh, oh, 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 So obviously he saw the bullets. Okay, yeah, he's dead. So let's go ahead and switch to this level 12, because obviously that was boring. Alright, as for their loadout, very strong weapons loadout. Honestly, there's not much to roast so far. They're doing pretty solidly. Okay, so they're doing nothing, so next... Uh, right, and we have, uh, Gunner, the level 9 Finn with literally, okay, the weapons loadout already sucks. Fangs is decent, but you never don't want, you don't really want to go without adrenaline shot on Finn unless you've got a level advantage, obviously. Okay, guys, so the shark's doing nothing. We're going to go to the next person. So we have Big Bad Fishy. We're back to the Betsy. They're lasering this Henry, which is decent, but I honestly recommend them using your spear. When you use Betsy, you just want to spam that spear, especially if you've got a low cooldown time. Because the more spear shots you hit, the more damage you're actually doing. Because Betsy's most powerful weapon is, his, is her spear. Now, this really did not matter before she got buffed. But now that she's... Or nerfed, sorry. But now that she's been nerfed, it's really a bad idea to go around without your spear. And, yeah. So, again, lame. Next person. So, we have Big Manio, the MVP of this round, actually. Doing very well as a Henry. As for the loadout, I definitely hate this loadout. They got very lucky on that Betsy kill there. But Helium Canister on Henry is just not a good idea in general because Henry is a very close range attacker. And oftentimes when you do a quick fly, you want to land that bite, especially if you have the Primal Instinct. So at this point, it's down to a 1v1 and this shark is faced with a difficult decision. And they, oh wow, okay, so they use the Helium to their advantage, but unfortunately I think it's just way too situational. And so obviously they're doing the teaming technique, which really, okay, never mind, they just shot them, they shot him. So, yeah, they're playing the long game here, which I don't respect very much. 
That thin at any time. Okay, yeah, they got him pretty easily. Let's go ahead and go into another game because this was actually pretty fun. Okay, guys, so that last round was pretty lit. We got to spectate some people. We got to roast some gameplay. But that's not all, guys, because we have a awesome, awesome game ahead of us because we get to roast more gameplay. And I could not be happier about this. So we're going to find ourselves a nice little legendary guard here. Please kill me, please kill me, please kill me, please kill me now, now, kill me, yes, kill me, kill me, okay, I'm dead, so, we're gonna spam, 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 and we ended up with a level 10 Lizzie, using what I would say is a very, very good loadout, uh, we got fangs, jungle shoes, adrenaline shot, personally, I definitely prefer fangs on a Lizzie, definitely, definitely don't use bandage, it's just not helpful, and I really just enjoy that really awesome combination, so already they're, unfortunately, they're teaming with the Larry, which is kinda lame, and they're placing three eggs at a time, which honestly is not recommended. It was decent because they were in a really close range fight that they needed to have to do. But most of the time when you're playing a Lizzie, honestly, you kind of want to place one egg at a time because it actually does more damage. They're really glitchy, so let's move on to the next person. We have Fidel dot or space E. They're being a level 9 Steve with happy treats, coffee, and sandals. And I gotta say, I don't appreciate the sandals on Steve because if you need to flow, okay, they're dead. Not much to talk about there. We have Meme, who is a Milo. They have Adrenaline Shot and Fangs, which honestly, I think I use that on my Milo. So very respectable there, buddy. They're doing pretty well. They're camping on the shotgun. So next, we have PLMP, who is just killed. Let's go ahead and look at Color A Core, who is about to die as well. Okay, so, well, these guys are just doing terribly. Coffee and Shoes, honestly, I don't love the coffee item. Unless you're really playing a tank or you're in solos full. I don't recommend it for solo standard, but hey, it has its uses. So the Lizzie over here is playing the long game, and I really appreciate that because what they've done is they've essentially set up a barrier of eggs. So if the Jade wants to get into the barrier, they're going to have to pay a price, and I really appreciate that play style. And yeah, the Jade's dead. So we're going to look at Fubar 1919, and looks like they're the level 12 that actually killed me. And now they're teaming with the level 10 Lizzie, which I appreciate. I mean, I don't like teaming, but hey, when if, when, two Lizzies, they got, Lizzie's got to stick together. So they obviously missed a crucial bow shot there, but whatever, whatever. Rights can be wronged, obviously. Nice invisible snipe. Uh, as for their weapons loadout, they use the same loadout I use when I'm playing solos Lizzie. It's just super aggressive and super fun, in my opinion. Uh, they're scouting the area, obviously. They're definitely covering their grounds based on where the legendary weapon is, what they need to be doing about it. And so, obviously, they are placing three eggs at a time, which I don't agree with. I've already said that. I think it's better to either save your eggs or, you know, just place one at a time because it does a lot more damage. So, obviously, they're teaming with this level 10 Lizzie to deal lots of damage to that Milo, which is awesome, but let's skip to the next person. So, we have... Okay, you know what? The Milo is actually in the most danger right now. So, we're looking back at the Milo. Again, they're using this awesome loadout... And unfortunately, they're taking a lot of damage just because they're being double teamed by the Lizzie. At this point, I would just retreat and find a better place to be. Because you don't want to get double teamed, especially as a Milo, because of how slow his weapons both reload and because they have to scope in. It takes so much longer to actually shoot your shots off. So Milo's definitely a one-on-one, -on -one, long-range kind of character. You don't want to get into a fight where you have to fight two people at once. So down there, you can see the Jade is dead, and unfortunately, it's now a... Oh my gosh, the Milo just clutched! What was that? The Lizzie's killed each other over that medkit, and the Milo was like, you know what, I will take that win. Thank you very much. I am out of here. And that was pretty lit, guys. I gotta say, kudos to this dude. Go meme, bro. That was a definite meme moment right there. So guys, there you have it. Two video or gameplay roasts, and I really hope you did like that because I enjoyed it. And if you did like it, be sure to leave a like and comment so this video spreads to more people so I can grow my audience so I can get Zuba Partnership by 2022. That would be totally lit. So really, there's only one more thing to do here in this video, and that is what I promised you I would do from the beginning. And that is buy an Emerald Crate to see if we can get Iris's Primal Instinct. So... We're going to check one more time to just make sure that it's unlocked because I do not want to waste 12,000 tickets. Yes, it is unlocked. So without further ado, we're about to spend 12,000 tickets. That's a lot of tickets, guys. And I'm sure you guys are so hyped to see this. And without further ado, let's open this legendary crate. I mean, pff, emerald crate. Okay, guys, so we're opening the emerald crate. Here we go. Pop it open. 250 Skippy tokens. Wow, that's a coincidence because I was just playing Skippy. We have a well, 1,864 coins and no primal. 
the devastation is intense. So, unfortunately, we did not get Iris's Primal Instinct. However, there is always next time. And guys, next time there is a next time, I will certainly be videoing it. Because this, you do not want to miss. Iris's Primal Instinct is going to be lit. And it is lit. And it's probably one of my favorite Primal Instincts to date. But guys, that's just about it for this video. So, thanks for watching. Have an outstanding day. And I'll see you in the zoo.